Good evening, I'm Mr Shaw, Head of Science. I'd just like to share with you some important information regarding what your child should be doing to revise thoroughly for success in their science GCSE exams. So first of all, why is science important? Well, science is worth two GCSEs for those studying combined and three for those studying triple. Good depth and breadth of scientific knowledge will help students to continue studying science after secondary school and opens up lots of potential career opportunities. Additionally, achieving well in science demonstrates to colleges and employers that students have important skills, such as critical thinking, understanding and utilising data, creativity, attention to detail and good communication skills. So, how to be successful in science? First of all, obviously, your child needs to be working hard in lessons. They also need to complete summary questions from the Science Revision Guide for new learning as directed by the class teachers. So this is the same homework they should have been completing in year nine and year 10. They should also be utilizing the revision guide to help plug any gaps in knowledge. So anything they're unsure on from the lessons, they should be looking through the revision guide and working on that. Now for year 11 only, um, year 11 students should complete the science exam practice workbook in full. Um, now for triple students, that is three thin books that look like this. For combined science, it's a thicker book that includes biology, chemistry and physics. So what they need to be doing, they need to be completing the workbook and completing the workbook is revision. It's also completing past papers because they have to apply their knowledge to exam style questions. They should use the revision guide to help them with the questions so that they're learning as well as practicing answering questions. And the first workbook homework was due in on Wednesday the 23rd of September. So your child has been given a schedule that looks like this. It tells them exactly which part of the workbook is due in throughout the year so that they can plan their time out um, and manage their workload accordingly. Now looking inside the workbook and revision guide, we've got the workbook on the left and the revision guide on the right. If you look at the contents page, you will see that um, there every section in the workbook has a corresponding section in the revision guide. So if we zoom in on that contents page, if we look at chapter B1, so biology chapter one, you and your genes, we can see that in the workbook, cells and genetic material has a corresponding page in the revision guide. Same for cells and microscopes and so on and so on. So your child, when they're completing the workbook, they should have the revision guide open next to them so that if they're unsure of any of the questions they're answering, they can use the revision guide to help plug gaps in their knowledge so that they can apply that knowledge to the exam style questions. So that's the most efficient way of doing this and it ensures not only are they practicing answering questions, they're learning as they go as well. So in summary, your child needs to be working hard in their science lessons, complete the questions from the revision guide when asked and complete the exam practice workbook in full following the schedule that they have been issued. Thank you very much.